We're just days away from the start of Liberty women's basketball practice. And for more on that, we visit now with senior captain Shayna Vega here on the Liberty Flame Sports Network. Shayna, uh, we were just talking about it. This is your going to be your last first day of practice. How are you handling that? You you, you doing okay? I'm doing good. It's um, bittersweet, but um, I'm ready to leave it all in the court, on and off the court. And um, I'm really excited to see what's in store for this season. And we've been preparing, but um, I think once practice starts, um, we'll gel a little bit better. And, um, yeah, I'm ready to see what this season has in store. So, How fast do four years fly by? It flew by so fast. I can't believe four years has gone by. And um, But I'm really thankful for the four years I've had here. And... Um, I'm ready to experience my last year or so. You mentioned team captain, uh, played in 21 games last year as well. Uh, are you ready for an increased role here this year? Yeah, I'm ready. Um, I'm really excited to see what my role will be this year. And um, I think that there will be a lot of um, competition, and I'm really excited for that. We're a really talented team. So, um, um, yeah, I think that it will be good. So. What are you expecting from the first few days of practice here? What do you think that uh, Coach Green and the staff is going to want to work on? Um, probably putting in like most of our plays, and um, he's really big on rebounding and defense. So I think um, that's no always, shock. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's always in the practice plan. So um, we're definitely going to be working on that, um, but definitely getting a lot of reps with offense and um, getting the girls to um, know the offense and stuff like that. So I think it's just a lot of getting our team chemistry up and getting our team to gel. So, Well, uh, you're one of two seniors on the team. Uh, do you do you feel some sort of, I don't want to say pressure, but added responsibility to, to lead? Um, not – well, last year um, it was like a new role for me, but I think this year um, like leadership is always – like anybody can do it and everybody has to step up. But I think for me um, my role is just to keep the girls high and high um, – spirits and have everybody like encouraging each other but I think um, being a senior is just it's just bittersweet like but I think um, for me personally I think it'll be like a good year and I'm ready. Yeah, the, 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 this team had a, a tough ending last year and uh, you know you, you're one of the only players on the team or that, that's been to the NCAA tournament. Uh, how much does that mean to you and to want to get back to the tournament? Um, yeah, I was actually speaking with Nini about it because we're both seniors this year, and um, I really want to relive that moment. Um, it was one of the probably the highlight of my four years here, and um, it's just an awesome experience seeing um, how the like your hard work throughout the whole season and every day of practice um, pays off in that one, that one moment and going into NCAA. And for me, um, leaving here with a a ring for my last year would be awesome, and just playing in the NCAA and being able to, um, you know, just have that positive experience as your as last year. So I think we'll be really successful this year and um, willing to work really hard for that. So We've talked a lot on the court. Let's talk off the court now. The, this past summer, I know you went to Kenya with uh, your teammate Molly Reagan, the Athletes in Action trip. Tell us about that. What were you able to experience over there? Um, that was probably one of the most life-changing experiences I've ever had. Um, we were able to experience, um, you know, going over there and just seeing how much they rely on God. And um, they don't have that many resources, so they rely on, like, each other. And for us to go over there was really a blessing because we got to see, like, the smiles on the, their faces. We went to, like, the slums over there and were able to, like, minister to, like, the gospel to some kids and um, give them... Um, like the resources that they need. So that was fun. Um, we got to um, go to like the, what is it called? The safari. So that was really fun. We um, just saw like wild animals and that was really cool. And Any lions, tigers? We did. Yeah. yeah so that was really fun. Um, and then, yeah, so we just went to church over there too. And we also just basically experienced what Kenya was like in the culture. And they were really... Um, welcoming to us and we felt like home so and it was really hard to leave them but hopefully I get to visit again soon. That's great uh, last thing here you're a criminal justice graduate now uh, you're in your master's program at this point what what do you want to do after basketball? Um, I'm, <laughs> that's, I'm actually not sure yet I want to do either like law enforcement or coaching so I'm kind of like in 
stuck in between the two. But I think um, I'm leaning towards more law enforcement, um, probably crime scene investigator. That's what I'm, that was my degree. So I'm really interested in um, helping people in that way. And You watch CSI a lot? Yeah, I do. <laughs> You're going to be sitting there looking at it and it's like, no, no, that's not right. That's not actually how they do this, right? I know, except it's really different from TV. It's actually a lot different. So, Shana, we appreciate the time. Best of luck to you here coming up in your senior year, okay? Thank you.